Well, today we're going to have a go at some old school tactics. And we're going to be using Devon Minnow. We've got the Y lead. Y lead on there. Try and hold bottom with that. And the idea is the lead sits on the bottom and the minnow just rotates nicely like that downstream of the lead and then by raising the rod tip that lifts the lead off the bottom brings it round in the flow then drop it back down again and repeat the process so we're casting across lead hits the bottom minnow spins below it after a few moments, we lift up the rod, move the lead round, sits on the bottom, minnow spins, a couple of minutes, lift the lead off the bottom, it swings round, sits back on the bottom, and so it goes until we come right the way round and we're downstream. Then maybe a nice slow retrieve just in case there's something in under this bank. Now, I've selected this section of the river, it's called Carey Stream. Reason being, I know it's a nice clean gravel bed with the occasional boulder because I've waded it numerous times fly fishing. But as you can see, the water's a bit deep for wading today. Uh, but it would take the fly beautifully, but a bit awkward to access um, today. So we're going to have a go with this rather large Devon minnow. Now the question is, is it going to hold bottom? First of all, what I'd like to do is to try and see if we can get this to demonstrate how it works by dropping it in front of us. We well, can certainly see the spinner working. Look at that. So, first off, just the camera, and we'll sling it out. We're only going to go midway to start with, just to give it a bit of help. And one little tip, as you're casting out, Stop the line just before it hits the, hits the bottom. That way, it straightens out the gear. So you've got weight, and then the minnow goes beyond the weight before it hits the water. That way it doesn't tangle so badly. Now that is not holding bottom. I can feel the lead bouncing around on the gravel. So that lead is not heavy enough for this amount of flow. But, it is actually coming round much slower than any other kind of lure. Fly, flying sea, rubber tail, doesn't matter. It bounces along the bottom, slowly swinging round. So, I'm going to keep fishing this for now. And then I'm going to put the heavier lead on um, to try the secondary method. Right. Right, so here we are, back again with the Devon Minnow, and this time we've got the one and a half ounce Y lead on there. There. Now, one drawback with the Y lead is that if you get it snagged, you can lose the lead and the minnow. Whereas the alternative method common method is to use a, a pencil lead or a long thin lead which comes down off a third, uh, a third eye off the swivel and that is on a breakaway section of uh, weaker nylon so if the lead gets snagged you snap that off all you've lost is the lead and you keep your minnow or the minnow gets snagged and that gets snapped off and you keep your lead however you get more tangles that way and uh, if you're fishing a river that you know the bed is gravel and clean, then there's no reason why you should get snagged up anyway. Okay, so now we are going to attempt to use the one and a half ounce lead. Just going to drop this in the stream in front of us. So once again, we can see that the lead sits on the bottom and the spinner 
spins away behind it. Beautiful. Okay, now, let's not forget, when we cast out, we have to stop the line just before it hits the water, so the lead and the lure are in alignment, that way you don't get any tangles as it sinks down into the river. Okay, just adjust the camera, and we're going to go for a long distance cast this time, so right out there, halfway across, oh I forgot to stop the thing, lift up the line off the bottom, now that is still bouncing, that is still bouncing down the gravel. The gravel is that small out there that that one and, ounce, one and, ounce, one and a half ounce lead is still bouncing down. Unbelievable. And that's now holding. And we hope it's the lead that's holding, not the lure. We'll just leave that for a little while. Anyway, I'm sure you don't want to hang around doing this, so I'll cut there and uh, come back if I actually hook anything. <laughs> anyway, that's the principle, that's the idea.